Hello, 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 beautiful divine people. What is up? Thank you so much for stopping by if you are a returning subscriber and if you're new to this channel, hello, how are you and welcome. Hola, como están y bienvenidos. So you guys, yes, I am happy about today because I'm doing something a little bit different. I don't know about you guys, but I was super excited for the Hocus Pocus ColourPop palette. Um, yeah, I don't know about you, but I loved, loved, loved Hocus Pocus um, when I was growing up watching it during Halloween and, um, and whatnot. So yeah, I was really excited for it. I really wanted to be able to get my hands on that palette. Of course, I did not get my hands on it. Like it sold out like that. I was expecting it to sell out. I just, I don't know. I did try really hard to get my hands on it and I didn't. And um, we are not at the point yet whereby they send us this the item so that I can review it for you guys. That's okay. We'll get there. So this is what I decided to do because I started to watch everybody's review of the items and, and, and the, the different colors. And while it's a lovely palette, it's an awesome palette. I love it. And I wish I could have got my hands on it, but you know what? I'm like, you know what? This is not going to stop me from doing a review of that ding palette. I don't care if I don't have it. <laughs> so if you're here right now to see the ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette review, you're gonna be disappointed because I don't have it. <laughs> but what I do have and what I did do is it took some time to actually go through and I have went through my palettes and I have been able to find basically a color in, it's a 15 pan palette and I've been able to find um, a color out of like 12 palettes, I wanna say, uh, like 12 to 15 of my palettes, I've been able to come up with the Hocus Pocus palette from 12 to 15 of my palettes. But the thing is, is if you, let's say that you see the Hocus Pocus palette and there's a really gorgeous shade that you're like, oh my gosh, I want that, I wish I could get that. Where could a good duplicate be? Hopefully you would have one of these palettes that I am going to be um, letting you guys know. So yeah, it, it's something like that. Um, the look that I have on today, I'm going to show you guys kind of how I got it, but this is, the colors that I'm wearing right now basically is what I have been seeing almost everybody use out of the 15 pan palette, like these three, four colors that I have on my eyes right now, that's what everybody was using. Like these are, I'd say the most popular colors within the palette. And so, um, so yeah, I just want to be able to bring you guys some duplicates and, and I am not like an expert on, the formulas and this, that, and the other. But what I do know is they are very, very close duplicates. And so like when I'm talking about the formulas, I'm not, it's not like I'm trying to tell you that a matte looks like one of the shimmers. <laughs> it's not like that. Um, I'm just talking about when we get down to like a pressed glitter. Is it going to be a pressed glitter? Is it a, a metallic? You know, between those two, I, I do believe that I have it correct correct, but I'm just saying I'm not like an expert at it. Um, so, so yeah, if you guys want to be able to see number one, how I got this look and I'm telling you, if I came on here and said, oh my gosh, you guys, I just got the Hocus Pocus palette. Um, look at my eye look. What do you guys think? I don't think anybody, I bet you even the people who made the Hocus Pocus palette, <laughs> I don't think they would be able to say, no, girlfriend, that is not the Hocus Pocus palette. <laughs> I honestly don't. I think that I did a really good job of duplicates. Like these days, dupes are not hard to find. So, I mean, the you know, a lot of it has to do with convenience because like I said, I have to dig through 15 of my palettes to get to one Hocus Pocus palette. So that's pretty much what it is. It could definitely boil down to convenience and the fact that, you know, a lot of people are just not gonna have 15 palettes. And so, yeah. 
So anyway, yeah, I just thought that that would be a fun video, um, especially in light of the fact that I was not able to get my hands on it like I wanted to. So yeah, if you guys want to do that and come along and see if you have something in your collection that could be a duplicate for the ColourPop Hocus Pocus colors, then stay with me and let's do this right here, right now, Beauty and Beyond with Davion. Okay, the first shade we're gonna do is, I wanna say that this is like the most popular shade that I've seen. Everybody is talking about this shade and it is, it's so gorgeous. So in the ColourPop palette, it is called Brew Potion. And it's a very gorgeous pressed glitter, like a, a gold toned pressed glitter. And it's gorgeous, gorgeous color. I have found three palettes that are very similar to Brew Potion. Um, and if I had to name them one, two, three, um, I would have, I would be able to tell you a clear first place, but like second and third place would be tied. So I guess the last two would be tied for second. So first place is definitely gonna be from the uh, Maddie Ziegler Morphe Collab to the moon. And it is a pressed glitter and it is precisely the color that I could tell, as far as I could tell, um, by looking at pictures and by uh, watching a whole bunch of tutorials and watching swatches of the tutorials and just watching how different YouTubers were, you know, utilizing it on their eyes and, and this, that, and the other. Um, it is right here. So this is a pressed glitter and then also the color is just very, very similar. Now, this one is from um, Raw Beauty Christie and Pure. This is called Golden Ticket. And then this one is the um, Jackie Ina and ADH collab. This one is called Zam. <laughs> I've always said it that way from the moment I got that palette and I saw that name. It's called Zam, but I always say Zam. Um, so what I did today though, with this, how I got the color that I got in the inner corner is I used Christie's golden ticket and then I topped it with to the moon. And I think that those two were like the perfect brew potion from the Hocus Pocus palette. So if you guys have any of those three palettes, then you have something very similar to brew potion. Next up is a green shade. Now the green shade is going to be virtually almost impossible. That green shade is very unique and very special. I do have a green shade that I used and I used it today. So this is from the Butter London Natural Goddess palette and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous green, but the only thing is the green, I wanna say it's called Yabos. And if you know, you know. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous green in this Butter London palette. The only issue is that the green in the Hocus Pocus palette is like a different shade. It changes color, so it's kind of like almost a um, me metallic or like a double shade. You know those, I think they're metallics. You know those um, shades that kind of change colors depending upon where you're looking or how how your angle is. So this color here from Better London, it does not do that at all. So there is a green in um, Jackie Ina's palette that absolutely does that, but it is not very similar in color to the green in the Hocus Pocus palette. So I will show you what I'm talking about though, just so you can get an idea about what I'm referring to when I say that the green in the Hocus Pocus palette, it totally shifts. It's like a shape shifting color. So the green in um, Jackie Ina's palette that does what I'm referring to is called Sponsored. You could probably tell right here that it's a shade shifter. You'll definitely be able to tell now. Do you see what I mean? I mean, it's really pretty shifting situation. It, it like goes from a gorgeous purple to a green, which is, you know, frankly, it is almost what the other color does. This one is just, it doesn't, it does it a lot more, 
but maybe it's because it's not on my eyes because the only reason why I'm saying that is because when I um, when I saw other YouTubers use it, it seemed to only be on the outsides that the colors changed. And so with this color, it just seems like the whole thing is doing it. But this definitely is going to be the closest shade to be able to sh tell you what I'm referring to when I say that it changes. Like this color the, from the Better London, this is the shade of it. This is kind of the color of it, but this is what it does from Jackie Ina's palette. So yeah, but I do have the Better London one on today. Okay, so another color that I have on my eye is, oh my gosh, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous like deep wine deep red plum sangria wine color it is so gorgeous it's a such a beautiful color um and it is called so it's called night of frolic and there are two two shades that are quite similar and they're right next to each other in the ColourPop um, palette. And I'm gonna have a picture for you guys so you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. But the color that I am referring to right now is Night of Frolic. I've got a, two or three palettes that I can match that with, but the number one I would say is definitely going to be from the Nubian 2 by Juvia's Place and in the color Jezebel. I've used this color before, but it wasn't until I used it today that I really was able to appreciate how just how gorgeous this color is. I mean, look at that. It is just a such a gorgeous color. And then just how, how it goes on it is so beautiful. And it's just so rich too. I love like the richness of it. So the other one comes from the um, Ace Beauty Scarlet Dusk palette sangria so this is the sangria this is the uh, nubian 2 jezebel and both of these are pretty good dupes for night of frolic in the color pop palette so for my eye look today i've got five shades total and um, all five shades were definitely inspired by the color pop hocus pocus palette the good news is is that three of the shades actually came from the um, Pure and Raw Beauty Christie collab. Copper, Golden Ticket, and Moo Point. And Copper Boxes is gonna be for On Toast. Golden Ticket is gonna be for Brew Potion. And Moo Point is going to be Hello Salem. And I have all three of these on my eyes today. So that takes care of uh, my entire eye look all the ones that I've showed you so far. But I do wanna give you a, some, a few other notable mentions that um, I think are also really, really good duplicates. Okay, so one of them is going to be the one that is called Coven in the ColourPop palette. That is gonna come from the Mac and Selena collab. And I think it is a super good dupe. I think it, they are so similar. Unfortunately, they don't have names. The Selena palette does not have names to the eyeshadow colors. And so I am just gonna have to show you. So I'm just gonna have to show you and it is this one right here. I think that this one is an excellent, excellent duplicate for Coven. So, I mean, it is so gorgeous. And yeah, from what I saw in the tutorials and the swatches um, that I saw, this is definitely a pretty good dupe for Coven. So the next color that I have uh, matched up in, Hopefully it is a good matchup because I found that this one was probably the most difficult one to, to know if it is actually a good matchup or not. Because you can easily get like reds or hot pinks kind of mixed up on camera and um, you know, the color can be skewed. And so if the color's correct and if, if I'm right in the color, like I said, I went to multiple uh, reviews, multiple swatches, multiple tutorials, um, and I just wanted to be able to bring you guys the most accurate um, color duplicates that I can, having not seen the palette in person. Um, but uh, the next color that I'm referring to is called Tis Firm in the ColourPop palette. And so the colors, I believe I was able to find two palettes um, that may 
matched his firm. The first one comes from the Queen palette. This, in fact, is something that we just recently got. If you get Boxy Charm, it came in our Boxy Charm uh, for the month of September, and it is the color called Monarch. Why did I just say it like that? Monarch. <laughs> the color called Monarch. <laughs> right here and finger monarch and then the color that I am saying that it is a dupe for is called tis firm tis firm and this is definitely a metallic shade and I know that tis firm is also a metallic shade so yeah, I really do think that this is a good duplicate. You know, I'm gonna be so interested to find out how well of a dupe I did once I do uh, in Lord's Will and finally get the palette, um, when I'm able to, you know, purchase it when it comes back in stock or, you know, however, if ever that happens. <laughs> however, or if ever that happens and I get the um, palette, I'm gonna be really interested to know how close I was and how, how good it was the playing it by, by vision, by sight from afar. <laughs> okay. Oh, I guess I have another one for you guys too on Tis Firm. So uh, that was from the Queen palette and apparently from the Morphe um, palette, there is another one that could work as well because they're, they're two different colors. So this is me not being, not, not knowing precisely what the color is. I believe that it's more this. I believe it's more the Monarch from the Queen as opposed to this one. But like I said, maybe one day I'll know for sure. <laughs> I am really loving this palette, by the way. I, um, I love it. I got it, I think a couple of months ago and Honestly, I don't even know who Maddie Ziegler is. I, I did go look her up once I bought the palette, but man, I am loving these shades. I am loving this palette. It's a gorgeous palette. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I, in fact, I need to do a tutorial for you guys on this or, you know, just a look. Um, I did one on my Instagram. If you want to go check that out, I did do one, um, you know, like, simple type look on my Instagram, um, but these colors are so unique. Like, look at these unique colors. I love this like mint green color. I don't know why mint green just reminds me of like a sports car or like a, those collector sports cars, mint green. Okay, so as you guys can see, I am sitting very awkwardly right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. And look, the sun's still here. So yes, I know I said I wanted the sun and I love the sun and all that, but it started going in a way now I can't stop her. <laughs> like, I don't have curtains to stop her. <laughs> because like how our windows are is we have, you know, windows with, with blinds and curtains, but then there's windows on top of windows <laughs> and those upper windows don't have um, blinds or anything and so the sun is able to peep in every single day at least every single day that the sun shines out um, and so there's nothing we can do about that and so now I'm just trying to figure out where I can film to where you guys can still see the situation and everything that's going on. I think we're gonna have to do the remainder of the video right here because that's where we can see right now without the sun kind of glaring in. Um, but we are almost through. So um, the color that we are on now is um, called Zachary Bates. And uh, there's two places where I have been able to find that. There's two different palettes, but it's interesting how it came about because um, in one of the tutorials that I watched, uh, she first swatched it on her eye dry and with a brush. And then she went back and, you know, wet the brush and used the same color and then put it over um, that 
over the where she had done it dry and it's so interesting because it almost literally changed colors or it became like a um, a different version of the same color so here's what I mean by that so when she first swatched it on with the dry brush the color was lithium from the Jackie Ina collection. Ooh, look at that gorge. Lithium, that's what it looked like, Zachary Bates, when she first swatched it dry. There it is there. But then she went in and she kind of wet the brush and then after she wet the brush, it looked like, I kid you not, it looked like this. Aurora, which, as you can see, is completely it is almost like a different color of the same shade so zachary bates i'm telling you this was what it looked like dry and then this is what it looked like wet over the top of the dry one okay so there are two more colors um the next color is called i call it black and that is from the hocus pocus palette and it's a gorgeous black tone, but it's got a, a bunch of uh, shimmer and shine in it. So it looks like one of those tone where it is almost a sequence. And I think a sequence is where it is a matte shade with shimmers in it. And so the one that I thought came the closest was gonna, it comes from the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. It's the color Granite. That's the one that really looks like it. But when you first, you know, look at it to the naked eye, absolutely it does not look like it's going to be a match because when you look at the color in the Hocus Pocus palette, it looks totally, you know, black. You could totally tell it's black. And then even, you know, by the very name, this is called granite, so that's not black, that's like a grayish black. Um, but then when I, when I actually swatched it, and so I did it, swatched it one time, but then I went in and swatched it um, again, like put it on top. That's when it started looking like that color to me. So I just kind of deepened it up by going over it a second time. I mean, on camera, it looks a lot more silver uh, than it does, at least to me in real life. Like it's definitely darker in real life to me. Also, if you really want to get the black with the shimmer that to look like the one from the palette, uh, you would probably just need to do a matte black first and then you could go over that matte black with the granite um, from the Urban Decay. Like if you have the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette um, or any sort of dark gray granite type color with shimmers, uh, then you could just first go over it with a matte black and then go over it with the, the shimmer color and that would kind of work out. But I know that um, in the black, she they were a lot of the people said that there are different colored sparkles i want to say they said that there's like even some like orange sparkles in there um but that granite that's kind of the closest that um i have to that black one okay guys so the last um one that i wanted to swatch and show you guys a duplicate on um this actually came in boxy charm probably like over a year and a half ago i want to say i know it was in the summertime so i want to yeah it was about a year and a half ago um but it is from ace beauty and it is called um french vanilla is the color and um in the hocus pocus palette it's called winch and this is the closest i love how these feel they're so soft like you see how they look like a pillow they feel like a pillow too so soft and gorgeous this is definitely the closest to winch just a uh, gorgeous metallic-y beautiful color so yeah you guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video that you enjoyed the um the brief tutorial that i showed you guys on this look and yeah if you were somebody who was totally looking forward to getting the hocus pocus palette but you weren't able to like myself um hopefully you guys will be able to have some duplicates of your own for the palette but if you're doing it 
uh, and many I'm sure many people are because Hocus Pocus is so nostalgic so if you're doing it for you know nostalgia region reasons if you wanted the palette or the collection for reasons of nostalgia that's a different story um, which you know I would have loved that I would have loved to have that um, but if you are somebody who did you know definitely wanted to be able to have the same kind of looks uh, at least then at least to maybe hold you over or tide you over until you can get your hands on the palette, um, then that is just an option. That's a way to go is definitely just try to get as many duplicates as you can from whatever you have in your collection. So let me know you guys, is this, uh, is this the type of video that you like? Like, would you want other sort of duplicate videos from me maybe you know high-end versus um, drugstore makeup what is a good duplicate for such items uh, let me know and you know as I speak right now as I'm recording today today's the last day to enter uh, an awesome giveaway that I'm doing on my channel so I really hope that if you guys um, anybody who wanted to enter the, the giveaway hopefully you guys did um, I'll link the video for some reason I'll link it even though if you're watching the video right now and you haven't entered, it's gonna to be too late to enter. Um, but you know what? Do not fret because rest assured that um, as I continue to grow and as we continue to grow together, I'm absolutely gonna be doing more and more giveaways and just more and more awesome stuff. And I just cannot wait to be able to do that with you guys um so yeah that's it let me know what you guys think let me know if you have any other duplicates do you guys know any duplicates do you have any better duplicates than the one that maybe i have found uh yeah let me know in the comments below and other than that i will see you guys in my next video bye